And welcome back to Blades, Beams and Binos .coza. Um, today we're talking about the Spyderco Pacific Salt. Um, the salts come in a couple of configurations. Yellow handle, black handle and black blade. Uh, then the spider edge or the plain edge. Uh, Alright, let me see the differences there. Those are the main differences. Uh, the salt is a a peculiar blade or an interesting blade in that it's completely rust proof. Uh, instead of putting nitrogen into the H1 steel, uh, sorry carbon, they've used nitrogen. Um, when you when they grind it, the tip where they work hardest on hardens up the most and the rest of it still becomes, stays pliable. When I say pliable, I mean as far as steel is pliable. Um, it gives a very durable blade with a good edge. Uh, it's completely impervious to rust. Now that's not only applicable to sailors and fishermen, it means that if you sweat like I do, you're running with your knife or carrying it every day, it sweats in your pocket, this will not rust anyway. It has a titanium clip which is completely impervious to rust, the H1 steel uh, and the FRN uh, volcano grip handle. None of this will rust and I'm sure most of you have seen the demos where you walk into a shop and there's a a Spyderco salt stuck in a, a vat of water and it's been there for three or four years and it does not rust. Beautiful knives, obviously, because Spyderco made them. Um, very good quality. Uh, they have the back liner here. Uh, single hand opening, courtesy of the thumb clip. Uh, if you want the dimensions and so on, please just click on the link below to check my website. It will all be there. You really can't go too far wrong with this. Completely impervious to rust. If you don't want the visible one, you go with the black one. Um, it's got ambidextrous carry for left and right hand, but not tip up and tip down. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know and click on the link to buy them. Thanks for watching.